Hello, and thank you for joining me. Welcome to Madam Suzanne. My name is Freddie Shabin, and this is episode 34. I am totally against sex trafficking and human trafficking of any sort. Now, the other day, I was watching this documentary about sex trafficking. Now, I'll tell you, I was sick to my stomach watching it, right? I knew what sex trafficking was, I knew what human trafficking was, but watching these gorilla pimps, really bad, bad, awful people take young kids, teenagers, 13, 14 year old, and forcing them into prostitution the way they did it. It was really graphic, it was grotesque. It immediately caused me to take some action. And I called three different organizations, nonprofit that help uh, sex trafficking victims get back on their feet with their, uh, you know, mental health and everything else like that and all the support that they need and uh, and some, uh, you know, for children, exploited children, all this stuff. So I offered them my services as someone that used to be in the prostitution business to lend a hand, whatever I can. And uh, this is how much that, uh, that the documentary moved me. So let me just run down real quick a few definitions and so we can be on the on the same page as far as understanding the difference between what i did which is upscale high-end escorting or you can call it prostitution and then the difference between that and sex trafficking and human trafficking so let me go through some definitions that i looked up online those are exactly what you can look up as well but let me just make it easier for you uh, let's start with sex trafficking as a form of modern day slavery in which individuals perform commercial sex through the use of force fraud or coercion minors under the age of 18 engaging in commercial sex are considered to be victims of human trafficking regardless of the use of force fraud or coercion so it is sex trafficking if someone is underage whether it's coerced or not it's still considered sex trafficking why because someone that is not legally an adult which is usually 18 in this country then they're not really thinking straight right so uh, manipulation all this stuff the tactics that uh, some of these sex traffickers use uh, of course, works on um, younger younger adults. So that being said, sex trafficking is sex trafficking, whether they are underage or overage, if they're being coerced uh, or forced into prostitution. Now, human trafficking is the unlawful act of transporting or coercing people in order to benefit from their work or service, typically in the form of forced labor or sexual exploitation. So. Human trafficking is a little bit more a broader a sense of uh, using people and coercing them, coercing them into not just sexual for sexual exploitation, but also like you know child labor and you know in the fields and through factories and stuff like this. Now, child sex trafficking in particular is the recruitment, harboring, transportation, provision, or obtaining of a child for the f purpose of a commercial sex act which is induced by force, fraud, or coercion, or in which the person forced to perform such an act is younger than 18. Human trafficking is a modern day form of slavery. So there you go, that's, that's what we're talking about with child sex trafficking. Now, as far as what I did, which is prostitution, it's engaging, agreeing, or offering to engage in sexual conduct with another person in return for a fee. It is a crime throughout the United States, except in few rural counties in the state of Nevada, which we talked about on numerous different occasions on different videos, and it's in my book and all this stuff. The difference between sex trafficking and prostitution. While both sex work and sex trafficking involve prostitution, by definition, sex work entails a willing engagement in commercial sex, while sex trafficking involves force, coercion, or deceit. Despite such protections, trafficking victims, including children, are still frequently arrested for the crime prostitution. So in my case, uh, as you know, I put ads in the uh, online uh, asking to hire people that are over 21 and that, uh, you know, just the things that I've talked about before, which is uh, they love intimacy with men, uh, they look good, they want to make money, 
and I was always straight up with them and always was honest with them and what the job entails. There was no bait and then switching. There was no, oh, this is just modeling or some of these ads that you see out there. No, it was, of course, it was a little uh, encrypted at the beginning. And then when I talked to them and found out that they're not, you know, law enforcement or whatever, uh, I told them exactly what it was. So I was always straight up before we even got to meet or before I decided to hire them or anything like this. So there's no coercion, there's no force no deceit, none of that stuff. So that's make, what makes it different between what I did and sex traffic. And of course they were all over Asia, I made sure they're over, over Asia, right? Now the difference between human trafficking and prostitution is human trafficking involves not just sex trafficking, but, but also labor trafficking. Secondly, human trafficking is not prostitution. Prostitution is a process of performing sexual acts in exchange for money without the use of force, fraud, or coercion. So. Human trafficking is nothing like uh, prostitution, right? Because uh, human trafficking not, doesn't just involve sex, it also could involve labor uh, and stuff like this, like we talked about earlier. And also there's no coercion in prostitution, uh, but human trafficking, a lot of times there's coercion, there's force. Uh, like I met this uh, Russian lady one time and she was definitely uh, human trafficking and sex trafficking because uh, I don't, I'm not really sure if everybody was overage, but they looked over age, but uh, what she was doing, she was holding their passports and making sure that they work for her for close to nothing. And she was holding their passports hostage and letting them know that, hey, listen, I got you here to this country. Now you owe me, so you're going to have to do this for me. And, they, and a lot of them did not want to do it, right? So basically, those are the definitions. And this is the difference between sex, sex trafficking, human trafficking, uh, child sex trafficking and prostitution. I just wanted to be clear on all the definitions. Wanted to, you to know that you know there's a big difference, and I'm totally let's not have any doubt or mistake about it. I'm completely one thousand million percent, billion percent against sex trafficking and human trafficking. Okay, I do not like to force anybody to do anything. Never have been. Never will be. Uh, no matter what the situation is, aside from you know the work that I did before in the past. It's just not my nature. I totally disagree with it. And if anyone is watching this video and you belong to a, a nonprofit or whatever organization that helps exploited children or exploited teenagers or whatever that were pushed into prostitution by gorilla pimps and bad people and you need uh, my assistance and my help, I'm always, I'll be there for you. Uh, just contact me at madamsuzanne2020 at gmail.com. I'll have all my information in the description of this video. And I really mean this uh, from the bottom of my heart. It's horrible what these people do to these kids and uh, these young adults. Uh, and I, I'm really appalled by this whole thing. So I just wanted to make sure that, that everybody knows that there's a big difference between prostitution, human trafficking, and sex trafficking. And what I did as an upscale escort agent with my escorts uh, and uh, wanted to make sure that uh, we're clear on this point. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. You'll help this station a lot, this channel a lot. And also, if you'd like to leave a comment, by all means, I answer all my all the comments. And if you have any suggestions for other video, please do so. Remember, I do a live streaming Wednesdays, which is tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I have not picked a topic yet. If you have a topic in mind you want to talk about, please uh, send me an email or leave me a a comment and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay happy. And if you have not found your happiness, please do so. It's within you. It's in there. You can find it. It's your own. Thank you so much. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.